duo hosting American Pickers has not been seen on set. While there were a lot of rumors about why Frank Fritz was no longer on the show, the History Channel recently confirmed that Fritz would not be coming back. For a decade, the show American Pickers showcased the adventures of Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf, traversing the United States, unearthing forgotten relics and their stories. However, by March of 2020, Fritz's noticeable absence became a significant talking point. The History Channel remained tight-lipped, and in the ensuing silence, speculation ran rampant amongst devoted fans. Was it Fritz's health, the global pandemic, or perhaps internal disputes? This video delves into the enigma of Fritz's departure, unraveling the details from the myriad of rumors, interviews, and subtle hints that were dropped by those involved. Join us as we have a look at why Frank is no longer part of American Pickers. The Glory Days of American Pickers In 2010, the History Channel introduced its viewers to a unique and engrossing concept that would soon become one of its flagship series, American Pickers. At the heart of the show were two passionate antique collectors, Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf, and their camaraderie, combined with a shared zeal for picking, forgotten treasures provided an authentic and entertaining lens into the world of antiques collecting. The format was simple, yet profoundly engaging. As they journeyed across the country, the duo would visit old barns and junkyards, basements and attics, all in search of hidden gems. These were not only items, each artifact came with a story, often intertwined with American history and culture. And for Fritz and Wolf, the thrill was not just in the find, but in the stories that accompanied the antiques. As viewers, we were treated to these narratives, presented by the owners of the items, adding a layer of depth and historical relevance to each episode. Their dynamic would be undeniable. Fritz and Wolf, having known each other for over 40 years, had a rapport that felt genuine. It was evident in their banter, their debates over the value of items, and their genuine excitement when they discovered a rare artifact. Their relationship added an essential element to the show, that being heart. It wasn't merely about antiques or making a profit, it was about friendship and a shared passion. Their differing personalities and tastes would often provide delightful contrast. While Mike Wolf might have been the more methodical of the two, carefully evaluating each item, Frank Fritz often went with his gut feeling, sometimes leading to humorous disagreements and friendly haggles. This playful rivalry only added to their charm. It was clear that while they might occasionally disagree on the value or the significance of an item, their mutual respect and friendship were unshakable. Moreover, the dynamic with people that they encountered was equally noteworthy. With every handshake and every negotiation, they exhibited a sincere appreciation for the stories and the individuals behind the items. Their interactions were never just transactional, they were personal. Fritz and Wolf made every effort to understand the significance of each item, not only in its historical or monetary term, but in how they fit into the lives of the owners. It was a genuine interest and respect for people that turned many of their business transactions into heartfelt interactions. The show also touched upon the duo's mission, aptly termed by the network as a mission to recycle America. It was not merely a commercial endeavor, because at its core, American Pickers showcased an effort to preserve a piece of history, to give old items a new lease on life, and to appreciate the value of the past in the present context. Their journey was not only about finding items to sell, it was about rediscovering and celebrating America's rich and varied heritage. The Mystery of Fritz's Disappearance As the 10th anniversary of American Pickers neared, viewers had grown accustomed to the engaging dynamics of Frank Fritz and Mike Wolf. Their on-screen camaraderie had become a staple of the show, and making any alteration to that dynamic was almost unthinkable. Yet, as episodes in early 2020 would begin airing, a conspicuous absence was hard to ignore. Frank Fritz, the jovial co-host, seemed to have vanished from the screen. The initial episodes without Fritz did not provide any direct explanation for his absence. Fans had anticipated some official announcement, perhaps a brief hiatus or a temporary setback, but the expected acknowledgement never came. Instead, the episodes made progress as though nothing had changed, leaving a Frank-shaped void that became increasingly obvious. The silence from the History Channel and the show's creators only deepened the mystery. In the age of instant communication, such a glaring omission was both unusual and unsettling. Social media, being the swift and speculative tool that it is, quickly became a buzz with rumors and theories. 
Every fan had a hypothesis. Some wondered if Fritz's health, which had been a topic of discussion in previous episodes, would be the reason for his departure. Others questioned if the global pandemic had made it challenging for him to participate in the show's travels. In the void of official communication, fan forums and online communities became the epicenter of discussion. The show's dedicated Facebook fan page would witness a surge in activity, posts would question his whereabouts, and with comments ranging from concerned inquiries to wild speculation, every new episode that aired without him only fanned the flames of curiosity. This would lead to a near-obsessive need for closure amongst the dedicated fan base. It wasn't only the absence that would puzzle fans, it was the stark lack of acknowledgement. Fritz wasn't a peripheral character, he was half of the show's heart. To not address his absence felt to many as though it was a disservice for the years of loyalty and affection that they had invested in the show and him. Fans began to question whether there was more to the story than met the eye. Could there have been a falling out? Did internal disputes lead to an unexpected departure? The collective uncertainty was not limited to the fan base. Media outlets, always on the lookout for intriguing stories, latched on to the mystery. Articles speculating on Fritz's disappearance began to circulate, each presenting a brand new theory. But none had any concrete information. Interviews with individuals associated with the show yielded very little, with most choosing to remain tight-lipped on the matter. It seemed as though there was an unspoken agreement to maintain this silence, further fueling the speculation. Speculations and Theories The fervent speculations around Frank Fritz's sudden disappearance from American Pickers were a testament to the place that he held in the hearts of viewers. With no official statement in sight, fans and media pundits took it upon themselves to dissect every possible clue that could shed any light on the mystery. Amongst the myriad of theories, three stood out prominently, Concerns about his health, the global pandemic, and his back surgery. Frank Fritz's health had been a topic of concern and intrigue for fans for some time, and since 2013, he had been quite open about his battle with Crohn's disease, a chronic inflammatory condition of the intestines. His candid discussions about living with the disease not only garnered empathy, but also made many wonder if a decline in his health would be the reason behind his sudden exit. The reality of reality television is that its demanding schedules can often take a toll, and Fritz's condition could have made it more challenging for him to cope. Moreover, his dramatic weight loss, amounting to 65 pounds, which made headlines, was interpreted by many as evidence of health complications. And while his health could be a plausible explanation, it did not entirely account for the absolute silence from the show's producers. If health were the sole reason, why had there not been an announcement? This line of questioning led to the next theory that was gaining traction, the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic had brought the world to a standstill in 2020. Travel restrictions, safety protocols, and the inherent risk of the virus made many productions reconsider their operation. American Pickers, with its core premise revolving around traveling across the United States and interacting with people, was particularly vulnerable to these challenges. Fans would theorize that perhaps Fritz, given his health condition, was at a higher risk and chose to distance himself to ensure his own safety. The theory was bolstered by the global concern around the pandemic and its profound impact on television production during that time. Parallel to this, another rumor persisted, originating from snippets of interviews and whispers within fan communities. It would be suggested that Fritz had undergone back surgery around the time of his disappearance from the show. Surgery, coupled with the need for recovery, could indeed have mandated a hiatus. If true, it painted a picture of Fritz grappling with multiple health challenges concurrently, his Crohn's disease, the surgery, and the overarching threat of the pandemic. The back surgery theory in many ways was comforting to fans. It would provide a straightforward explanation, devoid of any insinuations of internal disputes or conflicts. However, as the nature of speculations go, it posed more questions than it gave answers. Was the surgery planned or emergent? Was it successful? Would he be returning post-recovery? The fragmented nature of this information would leave fans hanging on to every little tidbit they could find. The Revelatory Interview – Fritz's Perspective The clouds of uncertainty that surrounded Fritz's departure began to spread when an interview with the sun would emerge. The revelations within it were both enlightening and heart-wrenching. 
For the first time, fans were given a glimpse into the complexities behind the camera, the strain on long-standing friendships, and the unanticipated challenges that can often emerge from shared fame. Fritz began by addressing some of the speculations head-on, confirming one of the predominant theories. He mentioned that after shooting, he did indeed have back surgery, which had coincided with the onset of the pandemic. This would provide a certain degree of closure to fans who had been agonizing over his well-being, offering assurance that he had not been unceremoniously removed from the show. However, as the interview made progress, it became evident that there were layers to the departure beyond only health concern. One of the most poignant revelations was the evident strain in his relationship with Mike Wolf. The duo, known for their camaraderie and almost telepathic understanding of each other, had been friends for four decades. Their on-screen synergy was often attributed to this deep-rooted friendship, and that made it all the more shocking when Fritz revealed that he hadn't actually talked to Mike in two years. The confession took a lot of people by surprise, presenting a stark contrast to the bond that fans had witnessed for over a decade. Digging deeper into this rift, Fritz hinted at feelings of being overshadowed, suggesting that the show was tilted towards Wolf 1000%. While the specifics of their disagreement remained under wraps, the pain was obvious. Fritz's sentiment of being more of a regular old guy seemed to suggest a longing for a more simple time before fame complicated the dynamic. His reflections on Wolf's actions, or rather the lack thereof, are particularly telling. Fritz's mention of Wolf being aware of his back issues but not reaching out was a testament to the depth of their estrangement. Every word would hint at a profound sense of betrayal and hurt that was emphasized in their relationship having endured strains far beyond professional disagreement. Fritz's bewilderment encapsulated his words. He didn't know why Mike was behaving like that towards him. It painted a picture of unresolved conflict and miscommunication. The Dynamic Between Fritz and Wolf Over a span of 10 years, the duo became synonymous with the heart and soul of American pickers. Their dynamic, brimming with camaraderie and mutual respect, would be the driving force behind the show's success. To understand the depth of their bond and the subsequent estrangement, one must trace the origins of their relationship. Long before the glitz of television beckoned, Fritz and Wolf would share a friendship that stretched back for decades. Friends, since their younger days, they had forged a bond that was rooted in a shared passion along with adventure. Their mutual love for antiques, collecting, and the tales woven into each artifact would propel them into a shared mission. It was this mutual vision that eventually culminated in American Pickers. As the show gained traction, viewers would be drawn not only to the items being picked, but also to the absolute chemistry that existed between the hosts. They would effortlessly finish each other's sentences, their banter lighthearted and genuine, and the seamless blending of professional alignment and personal rapport became a rarity, setting the show apart from other reality television offerings. Whether haggling over prices, teasing each other, or marveling at a rare find, their interactions felt organic, devoid of a scripted artifice. However, with the limelight came unforeseen challenges. The pressures of fame constrained even the strongest of bonds, amplifying underlying insecurities and differences. As American pickers evolved, Fritz began to feel that the show had a distinct tilt towards Wolf. His perception of being the regular old guy, in contrast to Wolf's more pronounced presence, would suggest an undercurrent of imbalance. For Fritz, it was not merely a professional grievance. It was deeply personal and tied intricately to their long-standing relationship. The nuances of their falling out, while not explicitly detailed, can be pieced together from Fritz's revelations. His sentiment of being overshadowed would hint at a longing for acknowledgement and equality, and it's possible that what began as a minor disagreement or feelings of neglect would snowball over time. The dynamics of fame can be tricky, and what's viewed as a slight or oversight by one can often be seen as a mere occupational hazard by another. Moreover, their communication breakdown during Fritz's health challenges add another layer of complexity. Such periods of vulnerability will often act as a litmus test for relationships, and Fritz's expectation of empathy from Wolf, juxtaposed against the perceived indifference, had only deepened the chasm. Tensions from Fame The allure of the limelight brings with it a unique set of challenges. As American Pickers soars in popularity, the world witnesses the blossoming of Fritz and Wolf as household names. But beneath the surface, the pressures of fame were brewing, gradually impacting the dynamic duo's relationship. 
The spotlight is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it validates talent, hard work, and passion, and on the other, it magnifies every action, word, and more crucially, every disparity. As the face of a successful show, Fritz and Wolf were not only colleagues, they were representations of a brand. And while they began their journey as equals, the perception over time began to shift. Fritz's growing feelings of being overshadowed were more than just professional jealousy. It would be intertwined within their shared history and friendship. As the series made progress, there appeared to be a discernible tilt towards Wolf. Whether it was screen time, promotional events, or the narrative arc of the episodes, Fritz felt the scales tipping unfavorably. His portrayal as the regular old guy, juxtaposed against Wolf's seemingly enhanced stature, underscored this perceived imbalance. The intricacies of television production often prioritize certain narratives or characters for various reasons. Be it audience preference, storyline coherence, or branding decisions. But when real-life friendships are in the mix, such decisions take on a deeper, more emotional resonance. It's not hard to imagine that Fritz might have felt sidelined, not only as a co-host, but also as a friend. Fame has a unique way of reframing your relationships. The constant scrutiny and need to perpetuate a certain image can blur the lines between the authentic self and the public persona. And for Fritz and Wolf, the external perceptions began to permeate their personal dynamics. Every decision from episode edits to publicity campaigns became potential points of contention. Moreover, fame often breeds isolation. As the world watches and weighs in on every action, the safe space of close relationships becomes even more critical. Yet for Fritz and Wolf, this sanctuary seemed to erode. The culmination of this would be evident when, during Fritz's health challenges, the expected support and empathy from Wolf seemed to be lacking. Such pivotal moments, when viewed through the lens of fame, can often lead to the increase in feelings of abandonment. Fritz's current life and health. Frank Fritz's departure from American Pickers cast him in a different light, shifting focus from his on-screen persona to a more personal and introspective examination. Behind the antique hunts and banter, his journey had been marked by resilience, especially in the face of health challenges. Crohn's disease, an anti-inflammatory bowel condition, has been part of his narrative for many years, a chronic ailment that impacts the digestive system. Crohn's is characterized by periods of flare-ups and remissions, with symptoms that range from abdominal pain to severe fatigue. Since 2013, he's been candid about his battle with the disease, using his platform to raise awareness and destigmatize the condition. His openness about the daily struggles and the need for continual management has resonated with many, making him an inadvertent spokesperson for the Crohn's community. Another significant aspect of his health journey has been his remarkable weight loss. Losing 65 pounds is no mean feat for anyone, let alone someone who battles with a chronic disease. The transformation, which captured headlines, underscores his determination to prioritize his health and his well-being. Life After American Pickers has given Fritz the time and space to reflect, rejuvenate, and recalibrate. The glare of the limelight, with its relentless schedule and public scrutiny, can often overshadow personal needs. Away from the camera, Fritz seems to be charting a path that places his health front and center. However, the hiatus has also been tinged with a sense of longing. Fritz's remarks about wanting to return to the show hint at the deep connection he feels with the series and its audience. Eleven years is not only a professional commitment, it's a significant chunk of one's life. And for Fritz, American Pickers was more than just a job. It was a passion, a mission, and a platform. The Network Stance and Wolf's Goodbye The intricacies of the television world are shaped not only by its stars, but also by the networks that broadcast them. In the unfolding drama of the departure of Fritz from American Pickers, both Mike Wolf and the History Channel held significant roles in shaping the narrative. Mike Wolf's Instagram post recently sent ripples across fandom. In an industry where public statements are often measured, vetted, and filtered, his words struck a chord due to their genuine resonance. Referring to Fritz as a brother, he encapsulated the journey that the two embarked upon in 2009. His poignant acknowledgement of the highs and lows, the blessings and the challenges, all hinted at complexities of their relationship. Wolf's expression of missing Fritz and his prayers for his former co-host's future journey would be tinged with finality, suggesting the end of an era. The sentiment was not only about a professional partnership, but the culmination of a four decades long relationship. The concluding lines of his post were especially telling. While he didn't explicitly state that Fritz would not return to the show, 
the implications became quite clear. The path forward for American Pickers was without him, a sentiment echoed by sources who were close to the show's production and confirmed Fritz's permanent departure to TMZ. The History Channel's stance in this saga, while more subdued, would be equally decisive. The continuation of the show without Fritz, coupled with the silence that initially surrounded his disappearance, suggested a strategic move. Networks often tread carefully, balancing the interests of the audience, the dynamics of their stars, and a more broad business consideration. While they never provided an official statement on the reasons behind Fritz's exit, their subsequent decisions, from episode schedules to promotional activities, reflect an acceptance of the show's new reality. Amidst speculation of Robbie Wolf replacing Fritz, the network neither confirmed nor denied such plans. The ambiguity allowed rumors to flourish, yet also gave them flexibility in navigating the show's future direction. When TMZ's report that producers had no intentions of bringing Robbie on board provided some clarity, though. For loyal fans, these developments brought a mixed amount of emotion. A show, cherished for its authenticity and camaraderie, would be changing, and while change is an inevitable part of the entertainment industry, the manner in which it unfolds will often leave a long-lasting impact. The Possible Future – Robbie Wolf and Fans' Reaction as the curtains fell on Frank Fritz's chapter with American Pickers, new speculations would arise that were mainly centered around the potential involvement of Mike Wolf's brother, Robbie. Rumors, as they often do in the realm of TV and celebrity, gained traction quickly. Fans would wonder if Robbie would step in to fill the void that was left by Fritz, offering a familiar face and possibly preserving some semblance of the camaraderie that defined the show. Frank Fritz himself would weigh in, stating that he thought that Mike wanted to get his brother Robbie there to replace him. Such a move, if transpired, would bring in an element of family connection and the challenges of reshaping an established show dynamic. Robbie, while not new to the limelight or the world of antiques, would face the daunting task of stepping into a role that had been held for over a decade by another. But as the rumors would swirl, TMZ would report that the show's producers had no plans to introduce Robbie into the mix. The trajectory of American Pickers seemed to be venturing into an unknown territory, without Fritz or another wolf by Mike's side. Fans of the show who had been on that journey for years reacted with a spectrum of emotion. Social media platforms became arenas for discussion, debate, and expressions of both support and discontent. Some fans would pledge their loyalty to the show, eager to see its evolution and willing to embrace change. Others would express their sense of loss, reminiscing about the golden days with Fritz and Wolf working together, their banter, and their unique friendship. There were even declarations of discontinuing viewership, a testament to Fritz's deep-rooted connection with the audience. A notable aspect was the unity amongst fans in expressing concerns, wishes, and predictions, and whether it was on dedicated Facebook fan pages or Twitter threads, the American Pickers community showcased their investment in the show's past, present, and future. The Future of American Pickers The unfolding story of Frank Fritz's departure from American Pickers inevitably propels questions about the show's trajectory. With over a decade of airtime, the show has carved a niche in the hearts of its audience, and the synergy between Fritz and Wolf would be a significant pillar of its success. As one of those pillars is removed, the foundation of the show faces a crucial test. American Pickers is more than just a show about collecting antiques. At its core, it's about stories, people, and the shared history that binds communities together. Each episode of Voyage into America's Past and the chemistry between Fritz and Wolf have added a human touch to that exploration. Their camaraderie, disagreements, and mutual respect made the series relatable. Without Fritz, the dynamic changes, but the question is, how much will this impact the storytelling that fans have come to love? One possible scenario is that the show introduces new faces, creating fresh dynamics and interactions. This could rejuvenate the narrative and bring in a new audience, but on the flip side, it also risks alienating longtime fans who have grown attached to the original duo. Another avenue could be a deep dive into Mike Wolf's solo journey, offering a more personal and introspective take on the world of picking. Ratings, the lifeline of a television show, will be the true test of these changes. A significant dip may prompt producers to rethink strategies, whereas stable viewership could vindicate the decision to continue on without Fritz. It's worth noting that TV shows, especially reality-based ones, thrive on evolution. Adapting to change while also maintaining the essence of the narrative is key to longevity.